If you're curious how Motorola's proposed hands-free experience on the Moto X is useful, look no further. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and these are the best uses for touchless control on the Moto X. Motorola introduced a host of new and unique features for its latest handsets, such as the X8 computing system and Motorola Skip, which we covered in a video yesterday. One of the unquestionably awesome benefits of the X8 computing system, however, is the low power core that's dedicated to natural language processing. It's always listening for your voice and ready to answer your commands or questions at any given time. Essentially, saying OK Google Now activates a local recording that is then sent to Google servers for decoding once you finish speaking and the phone unlocks. The Google search application then determines what sort of action should be taken. The brunt of what touchless control, as Motorola calls it, will be used for quick hands-free Google searches. But that's only the tip of the iceberg. If you've spent any time queuing voice action commands with Google search application, you know the service is equipped for all sorts of different actions. But paired with a totally hands-free experience, there are some commands that become even more awesome. For example, many of us stream music from our phone while in the car. Changing music on your phone is, like it or not, a distraction and sometimes more tedious than simply hitting a number for a preset radio station on your car stereo. Using touchless control, you can simply say, OK Google Now, play Tears for Fears. You can name an album, song, or artist, and you can choose your preferred music application, such as Google Music or Spotify. This specific application could be more robust, such as having the ability to play one of your playlists or an entire artist's discography. But the ability to just speak the name of the song you want to listen to is certainly nice. Or say you're out somewhere and hear a song playing and you want to know the name. There are a handful of applications that will listen to a small portion of the song and give you all sorts of information on it but it never fails. I always seem to take too long to open the app and miss the song. With touchless control, you can start the search without touching your phone or fumbling through your home screens trying to find the SoundHound or Shazam app. Simply say, OK Google Now, what song is this? It will listen to a short clip of the song and speak the answer to you. This hands-free ability also makes it possible to send an email through voice commands, which may sound a bit silly and lazy, but I assure you it comes in handy, especially in our line of work. Say the OK Google Now command, email, say the name of the contact you want, subject, the topic of the message, and then message. For a better example, say OK Google Now, email Michael Fisher, subject, hey, message, jerk, period. Whether you're in the kitchen cooking a new recipe or sitting at your desk in need of some unit or currency conversions, Google Search can do all the heavy lifting for you. Speak OK Google Now and state the conversion or simple math equation you need answered. In this case, we converted cups to liters. But you can do all sorts of math equations, such as cube roots, simple addition, and even fraction conversions to decimals. On top of that, you can use Google to fact check. OK Google Now, how old was Nikola Tesla? Or OK Google Now, when will the sun set today? And if that simply doesn't do it for you, you can also launch web pages without ever touching your phone. OK Google Now, go to pocketnow.com. And one of the features Motorola effectively showed off was the ability to set an alarm hands-free while laying in bed. OK Google Now, set an alarm for 9 a.m. Or you can use this feature as a timer. OK Google Now, set an alarm for 24 minutes from now. The best part of setting an alarm is that it also works for third-party alarm apps, such as Timely. But this isn't the extent of what you can do with touchless control. You can ask for directions to somewhere, or a map of some place. You can call people or open applications, set calendar appointments and reminders, or even post to Google+. The actions we've mentioned here are the ones that have stuck out most to us in our short time with the Moto X and touchless control, the ones that feel the most useful to us. The question we want you to answer though is, is touchless control a useful feature or a gimmick? So far we're leaning towards the latter, as it's come in handy in many different situations in less than a week. It's also encouraging us to use voice commands more than we normally would, but we're not certain that will last. Don't forget to join the discussion below by sharing your thoughts on touchless control and the Moto X, and be sure to give us a thumbs up to let us know you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Subscribe to see more videos like this one in the future, and follow us in all the usual places, Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at PocketNow. You can find me on Twitter at CasperTech. I'm Taylor Martin, and I'll see you next week.